For the last few weeks, Neo Colors 2 were one of my favorite art supplies. I use them to finish my artworks, draw details and add textures to my drawings. But there's a lot of ways you can use them for your art and today I'm gonna share with you some of them that are my personal favorites. Neo Colors 2 are wax pastels, they look like crayons, but here the similarity ends. There are a couple of different types of Neo Colors, but I've, I've only ever used Neo Colors 2. They are water soluble aquarelle pastels, which means that you can create a lovely watercolor effect by mixing them with water. They come in a big variety of really beautiful colors that have great pigmentation and you can buy them either in the entire set or just individually as I did. And since they are a little bit pricey it might be a great option to just try a few colors first and see if you like them or not. The most obvious way is to use them straight as they are. They have great saturation and blend easily. But this is way too basic, so let's move to something more interesting. Starting with mixing the first layer with water gives us a lovely watercolor effect. You can build layers on top of each other, blend them together, soluble only a part of wax pastel and then finish everything up with pencils or true last details without water. I don't use this technique very often, but I quite like it. One technique that I really like using is starting the drawing with colored pencils and then finishing up the details and adding textures with pastels. It gives it this nice sketchy look, perfect book for quick drawing, sketching outside and filling the sketchbook page. Using Neo colors on top of the uh, pencils gives you a very quick effect of depth and textures and you can create a lot of details just in a few minutes. <laughs> My favorite way of using Neo Colors is to build up the textures and detail on a gouache painting. I start the first few layers with gouache or sometimes with watercolors, then I add all the small details with colored pencils and to finish everything off I use Neo Colors. Since they are really opaque you can put lighter colors on darker backgrounds build the highlights and add textures and depth to the illustration. They blend really great on gouache, acrylic gouache and watercolors. I really like the sketchy effect they give to the painting and all the textures I can achieve using them. things to remember is that pencils don't really work on a layer of new colors unless you mix them with water. You can get a little bit of pigmentation especially if this is a dark pencil but it doesn't really work that great. It is necessary to add pencils details first and then move to new colors.
The second thing is that depending on the paper, they can transfer to the other side, so you need to be careful and check how they act in your sketchbook. In my experience, I try them on a few different papers and sometimes they sit nicely on a one page and don't smudge, but sometimes, especially shortly after use, they will go to the next page and can destroy the whole spread. I honestly didn't find any solution to that other than using a proper paper. I tried fixative, but it really didn't do not anything. So I just put tissue paper over each page to prevent it. Overall, I really like new colors. They are on the market for quite some time already and I finally found out about them recently, but I'm really happy I did. They allow me to create quick daily art, but you can also use them for so much more. That's it for this video, thank you so much for watching, you can see some of my drawings I uh, did using new colors here. And yes, hope you enjoyed the video, see you in the next one, bye bye!